Hey guys, welcome to my Psalm 1 language instruction on the difference between Sa and Na. So I've waited a while to tell you the difference between the two different past tense markers, and I figured now it's time to kind of clear up that, you know, confusion maybe, or the difference between the two. So before we get to that though, I'm going to give you some vocabulary. I want you to pause the video at this point and go over these vocabulary words. I'm not going to go over them with you, I'm going to go over a couple. The one I'm going to go over with you right in this part is Holy Ghost. This is Anganga Pa'ia. Anganga Pa'ia. That's probably the hardest word on this page because the two different G's. And then um, I think just so you remember, just Jesus Christ, that, that's not an L, that's a Yesu, that's a capital I. So that's Yesu Keriso instead of Lesu. It's not Lesu, it's Yesu. Uh, okay, so pause the video and go over these vocabulary words. Okay, I hope you pause the video and I want you to go over these vocabulary words now. And um, I'm not going to go over all of them with you, um, but the one that I might go over with you is this is taofi, that's to stop. And actually, I'll go over this one with you too. It's tootuli is to kneel. Okay, so pause the video at this point and go over these vocabulary words. It's important that you continue to learn more, more vocabulary words so you can continue to uh, improve your language. Okay, so now getting to the more, I guess, core of the video, um, sa and na. So sa is the indeterminate past. Well, what does that mean? Indeterminate past is set in a situation that is relatively unrestricted time. Okay, so I actually like, think of, I like to think of sa as unrestricted time. Okay, and... Um, I don't really, I mean, indeterminate, that, in my mind, that, that kind of fuzzy, what that actually means, but it basically just means unrestricted time, okay? So that's sa, uh, and then na is determinant, oh, I need to use a highlighter, determinant pass, okay? And the determinant pass is set in a relatively restricted time, okay? In the past. So these are both past. And just the difference between the two. Indeterminate past is unrestricted time, and determinate past is restricted time. Okay? So, what, is the di what, what, what does that even mean? Okay? So, I, I like to learn by examples, and, and maybe these examples will help give you more of a clear image in your mind. So, unrestricted time, I like to think of as being, um, it, it, you, when you say the sentence, it's clear that it's in the past, but you don't know exactly at what particular moment it was happening, okay? So, this first example, the crowd of people arrived, or were arriving, at the summit of the mountain. So, there was a crowd of people, they all arrived at different times. This means that they are in an unrestricted time, okay? Because it didn't happen, it's not clear when exactly everyone came. They did come, it was in the past when everyone came, but it wasn't clear when it happened, okay? This other example, Mary coughed for several minutes. So she was coughing multiple times. You don't know how many times she coughed, but it was in the past, but you don't know exactly how many times she coughed and how long she coughed, but it was for several, it was a long time, so it wasn't in a restricted time. It wasn't in, it was, it was, it was indeterminate, okay? Uh, I couldn't determine uh, how many times she coughed, if, if that makes sense to, to you in your mind, okay? So, um, Joe was sneezing, so this is kind of the same thing. It wasn't, it's indeterminate. It's in an unrestricted time, okay? So, he was sneezing, it, but I don't know how many times he sneezed, and I don't know how often he sneezed, okay? So, that's kind of what unrestricted. I don't know how many times it was going on, and I don't know how often it was going on, or for how long, okay? This is more unrestricted, okay? So the restricted side of things, so this that was for sa. Sa is unrestricted, okay? But restricted, that's more for na, and this is the determinant past. So John, one person, arrived at the summit of the mountain. So in this sentence, it's easy to kind of picture, as you say it, John arrived at the summit of the mountain. You can kind of see John driving his car, he's going into the parking lot, it's in one time and one moment when he came, okay? I can visualize that as it's determinant. I can determine in my mind that John came at a particular moment, okay? 
So that's one example. Mary coughed. She coughed one time. Okay, the coughed and the was coughing or coughed for several minutes. That's the difference between unrestricted and restricted. She coughed one time. When I say this, I can visualize her and it, it was just a one-time thing coughing. Okay, and then Joe sneezed. That's kind of the same. It's uh, it's one time. Okay, so if I can, so restricted, I, I like to think of it's a specific point of time or it's definite and measurable portion of time okay so you can define or it's a definite time where it takes place and it's a measurable amount you can determine how many times someone did it or when they did it okay so that's the difference between indeterminate past and determinate and I know this is pretty dense this is very dense English review okay and if you need more help, I would suggest watching this portion again. I tried to, to teach it as clearly and as basic as I could, uh, but maybe the second time might be better to, to just kind of go through another run to kind of help you uh, to visualize what's going on, okay? Um, also, here is a kind of a little quiz. I want you to, um, to, to pause the video at this point and try to answer these on your own, Okay. So I hope you were able to pause the video. I hope you were able to um, actually translate these sentences on your own. Now we're just trying to figure out when do I put saw and when do I put na, okay? And so I hope you were able to translate everything other than that in, in these sentences. We should be able to, to translate all of these sentences up to this point. That we have the vocab and maybe, uh, maybe this one right here, the, the one exception would probably be right here, ana le la. That is probably a new vocabulary word that means earlier today. Ana le hila. Okay? So, uh, other than that, I hope you were able to translate these. Okay? So, let's kind of go over the answers. What do I put sa or na in that underlined portion? So, let's think about this together. The bus arrived at the store yesterday. So, is this happening in a specific or, or a measurable time? Can I, can I measure or determine... I guess is a better word. Determ can I determine how many times the bus arrived or when the bus arrived? And can I visualize if it was a one-time thing or, or was it over a, a vast uh, time? Okay. Well, this is more of a determinant past. Okay. And determinant, well, what, what is that? Determinant is na. So I would put na right here. Okay. And that isn't the greatest handwriting, but it'll probably do. So na would go there. So na tau nu'u le pasi e le fale oloa ananafi. Okay? So remember we're we're just doing tense marker, action, then the doer in this sentence. And then I'm doing my prepositional phrase to the store or at the store. And then yesterday is just something that's uh, defining when I'm doing it. Okay, so that's an adjective. No, that's an adverb, okay? And ananafi is yesterday. That's an adverb. And sometimes our adverbs go at the end of the sentences. And if that's confusing you, then you need to go back to my basic grammar video. Awesome. So then you taught the class today. So when I say this, can I determine when this is in the past? Or is this just, it could have happened any time in the past today? Okay, so today is a long time. It's not a, a specific time. Uh, it, I, I am using, it's clear that it was in the past tense, so I would use sa or na, but today is a long time, it's not a, a specific time, and so this would be the indeterminate past, and so I would use sa right here, okay, sa, awesome, so sa a wa o oi ele va senga ele asone, okay, Awesome. So you liked your job. So is this a t is this determinant or indeterminate? Can I determine um, if this sentence is is at a specific time and place? Do I like my job only one time, or is it over a vast amount of time? Is it indeterminate or unrestricted time? Okay, it's unrestricted time again. It's saw. So I would put a saw right here because I like. Do you like your job? That's referring to as in a whole. It's not at one specific point do you like your job or in one particular area do you like your job. No, this is talking about your whole job in general and it, this is going to be over a, a vast amount of time. Okay, Your spouse put the book on the table. Okay, So if I ended 
the sentence there, it would be saw. Your spouse put the book on the table because it's clear that it's in the past, but I don't know when the spouse put the book on the table. But since I added in this earlier today, that's clear that it happened at a, a specific time, okay? That it happened at a specific time and it's determinate. So this would be na, okay? Na. So na tu e lao soa le tu si i le lao lao ana le la. Okay, awesome. So your family came to the MTC. So it's clear that this is in the past, but is it clear when they came to the NTC? No, it's not clear when they came to the NTC. So this would be sa, okay? And then his companion took the president's car, okay? His companion took the president's car. So I want you to try to get this on your own and pause the video if you need to to try to figure this last one out. Okay, so I hope you were able to get it. And this is a determinant so this would this last one right here is na okay so na ave e lamsoa le taavale ale presten this is the determinant past because it's determining it, it's I'm able to determine that one specific moment in time and one specific uh, car or one, my president's car that it um, that it was determinant okay so I hope this little exercise helped guys and if it didn't um, I'm really sorry. I, I feel like this is kind of one of those more dense topics. I feel like I uh, tried to teach it as, as, uh, as basic as I could. If you need to, go back and rewatch it again. That, that, that helped me, I think, the first time that I, I learned this, that it didn't quite stick or settle in the first time. But uh, repetitions help. So watch it again if you need to. Okay. But until next time, guys, uh, continue practicing. And, and when you're reading in Samoan, notice when, what kind of sentences they use sa and na, and that will help you to be able to improve your ability of when to use sa and na, okay? So, uh, like I said again, until next time, toi fei roa'i fa soi fua.